Well, hi there, guys. Welcome back. This video is all about Songkla in southern Thailand, and I thought I'd just show you my room first off. This is uh, a hotel called the A List. Really nice place. Stayed a couple of nights here. Uh, really nice and clean. It cost me something like 1200 baht a night. We'll just go in here through these doors into the bathroom, which is really quite spacious. Nice sink area there, nice and clean, everything you really want, including a bath. With a nice alcove area there, and then there was just a shower, which I'll just come round to now. So yeah, this is really nice, really nice place. Just your typical hotel lobby in Thailand. <laughs> Let me check this out. In a chandelier. Lovely ceiling. Amazing. <laughs> How cute. There's like a little garden outside. Another game of chess. These roses will. Oh, I don't think they are. They? No, they're not. I wonder if the books are real. Just check the books out. They're not real. <laughs> Good morning. This just arrived in my room. Yeah, breakfast served in my room here in the hotel. Uh, basically because they can't put on a buffet apparently. I don't know if they've still got some restrictions going on in Song Club, but it seems a bit weird. But anyway, I'm going to delve in. And the chap who just bought it's going to bring me a coffee as well. So, what have we got here? We've got some uh, fried eggs. We've got some. Well, we've got some sausages and look like pork or something underneath that. And some salad, because you always get salad with Thai breakfasts. No idea why, but there you are. And then we've got a bottle of orange juice, Nam Son, and then we've got a little bottle of milk, which is quite quite cute, and some fruit. So there you are. And here's the coffee. It's a bit weird that he had to bring it all the way up. I mean, my room's on the fifth floor, and he's just brought his coffee up. <laughs> Even though I've got tea, coffee making facilities in the room, but there you are, all part of the service. But bear this in mind, if you come over at the moment, some hotels may still have restrictions, so you may not get the full service that you're expecting. First stop of the day in Songkla is this palace. This palace? which I think once belonged to uh, King Rama V, complete with Gardner. I don't think he was around in those days. Maybe his lawnmower was. <laughs> Looking at how old it is. Where there's hills in Thailand, there's monkeys. These tiny little guys, these are. These are smaller than the ones that we saw in Krabi. <laughs> Loads of pigeons as well. <laughs> is, that, is that breakfast? <laughs> There's so many. And they're all in the trees. Oh, 
โชคอย่างแรงเลยก็พี่ง่ายตั้งแต่กลางตั้งถุงเอาไปทั้งถุงเลยสองวันทีละมือทีละมือชอบเลยดิสกัดแบบเรื่องนั่นไม่ได้ไม่ดีนะทุกวันเยอะไม่รู้จักเรื่องอะไรแบบเด็กน้ำไม่เลยไม่เสียน้ำร้อนร้อนเลยไม่เอาน้ำทุบเกลือน้ำเอาอะไรถือไม่ได้เนี่ยถือลงมาแล้วก็เจ๊งเลยเราจะทิ้งทำไมมันก็โตลงมาบางทีบางทีทองสองสามเซนกินอย่างเดียวสองสามข้าวThis guy is selling the bananas and nuts. Monkey breakfast, yeah? <laughs> nuts and corn. Peanuts, bananas, little bananas. <laughs> right. So we're going, hopefully, we can get up. I say hopefully, I think today is some kind of holiday. So I'm hoping things are open. But there's like a funicular railway that goes up to this hill, up to the top of the hill, so we'll see if it's open. So the good thing is, it's open. Uh, we're going up Tanquan Hill. Cost 30 baht for a round trip, which is good. We've just got to wait a little while, but it's open anyway, so that's really good. <laughs> go this way. Right? Oh, you're going to take a picture of me. I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> good. Oh, there's monkeys as well. So we've reached the top of the hill. And can you see off in the distance? That's where we caught the ferry yesterday. We came from that, round that hill, which we're gonna go around later today and catch the ferry back again. And then we came down this road and then the hotel's only a couple of minutes just down the road from here. But beautiful view. Hello from the top of the hill and it's so quiet there's only three other people in the lift coming up I've not seen anybody else up here they're real peaceful <laughs> let's go around and explore I don't know what this is meant to represent I think they're little, I think they're little tiny bells without the chimes in. I don't know, they must be. I have to ask. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just speaking to a, a worker up here who's busy sweeping away. And it does seem that there is COVID here in Songkhla province. I think she was trying to get out, you know, because I said, oh, it's so quiet, you know. And she said, oh, because COVID. Um, and she asked me where I come from. I said, well, I live in Chiang Mai and we've not had any COVID since the new year. So that's why it's really quiet up here. I mean, there's just nobody here. Anyway, we've got a stadium over there. I think that's a football stadium. And we'll be going round, there's a beach road that goes up. We'll be going round that after we've finished up here. And then we'll head into the old town. But this is Songkla. And that's my hotel in the middle there, the dark green building in between the yellow and the big white one. That's the A-list hotel. And then just along in there somewhere is the old town of Songkla, which we'll visit a bit later today. But we're very lucky to weather. They did forecast thunderstorms yesterday and today, but nothing as yet. nobody up here at all. Look at it. I'm the only one. And the sweeper lady. Check this out, city with a beach right on its doorstep. And look how big it is. And you've got all this, all this, all this, all this. <laughs> There's a guy on a horse. Beautiful here, Sunkler. We've not even touched the old town yet. That's meant to be really nice. A nice place. And this is bronze mermaid statue, which is obviously a very photogenic. <laughs> you can see it behind everybody. I managed to take a photo without anybody on it, which you'll see now. So back in the day, Songkla once had a railway station. Can you see that? Right behind me. Uh, but now it's a market, I think, so we're going to have a little look round, see what's what. I 
Dad's playing chess, I think, or some other board game. I don't know what this is. Oh, they're playing it. No idea. It's very quick. <laughs> Much tea. This tea. Lovely yeah, little place. Oh, this used to be the ticket. The ticket office. We'll have a look outside soon. On the front. Papers and bookshop. By looks of it. Tea. Yes, one ticket to Bangkok, please. Sorry, how much? Oh, there's no trains. Really? Huh, okay. So here's the market. Fruit and veg market by a little bit right outside. station. So we're just coming into the uh, the old town now. In fact the start of the old town is just to the left of that old city wall there. On the other side of the road is the National Museum. I think that's close to there. We've got this lovely old wooden house here. Don't know if it's open. I don't think it is by the looks of it. Just uh, try and not get run over. This used to be the 16th Prime Minister's birthplace. Yeah, the National Museum is closed today. It's open tomorrow, so we'll come first thing tomorrow morning before we leave Songkhla. Anyway, this is the old city wall. Let's go and explore the old town.
So this shop sells soy sauce. We used to sell them in these cans, I don't know if they still do. This is... <laughs> this is the stuff in plastic bottles. Yeah. A whole shop to sauce, fish sauce probably as well. And soy sauce. So I'm currently on the island of Koyo, which is just outside Songkla, on Songkla Lake. And this bridge connects Koyo with where we were yesterday, where we caught the ferry to go into Songkla. So we're going to cross over this visit a couple of places on the other side of Songkla before we get the ferry again. So I visited a couple of places on Koyo. One was a temple called Wat Lem Po which featured this big golden reclining Buddha and then I went for a drive around the island itself and it's got some nice fishing communities before I went over that bridge. And once back on the mainland again, I headed to this temple called Wat Suan Kiri, which features some nice Chinese elements. And these can also be found in this ruined pavilion called Bo Gang, which sits right opposite the town of Songkla. Number 12, Fort Number 12 of Songklar Ancient Town. These were one of many forts that guarded the entrance to the town before you got out to the sea because you had a big lake behind it. And way on the top of there is a couple of stupas, I think, but there's no way I'm climbing up there today. It's far too humid. And it's 600 steps, something like that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm chickening out. So we're just going to stay down here. These are the other forts at the top of the hill. Or on the way up to the top of the hill. There's a bit of a climb up there. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Here we are again waiting for the ferry, it's just coming in. That's pretty much our day done in Songkla. Get on the ferry, go back to the hotel, get some AC on. It's bloody hell, it's been hot today. It's so humid down south of Thailand. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. Catch you later. <laughs>